With the Iraq war over and U.S. forces in the process of leaving Afghanistan, the military is beginning to change how they train their soldiers. You might say they are going back to their roots, focusing more on basic war fighting like the Gulf War in 91. KXAN's Casey James was at Fort Hood as the 3rd Brigade combat team refocused their younger troops' mindset to those prior to 9-11. Since the beginning of humankind, there have been wars. Wars that have been fought in many different ways. Iraq and Afghanistan brought a whole new range of obstacles in the way our soldiers fought. It's actually been very nearly a decade since we conducted war fighting operations. Al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters engaged U.S. armed forces with asymmetric warfare. That means the enemy would come from many directions, and it was often unclear who they were. To fight this way, U.S. soldiers would go out on a mission, max 72 hours, and return to the security of a base, food and warm bed. But this week's training at Fort Hood is changing all that. For these kids, the, the decisive action warfare is harder because they've grown up in the asymmetric warfare environment. Live less comfortably. We have to live off of our combat platforms. We have to dig in foxholes, um, and we have to... Um, get away from the creature comforts that we've been used to for the last 10 years. Going back to old school training of pushing soldiers' bodies and minds, preparing them for what could be weeks or even months on the battlefield in harsh environments. So I look at all our soldiers as tactical athletes. Sleep is a big part of the training. So we put soldiers in a, in a sleep de deprived state in order for them to train their mind. Well, we've pretty much been going nonstop. I know my platoon, we, uh, we've been setting up a lot of wire obstacles. The lack of sleep that we get takes a toll on you. Most soldiers who joined after 9-11 only know one kind of fighting. But U.S. forces hope their experience in Iraq and Afghanistan and the retraining of basic ground combat on the battlefield, the United States military will remain the best and strongest in the world. We'll have the experience to go and fight a combat uh, uniformed force as well as deal with the local populace and the counterinsurgency fight. The more I train now, the better, the easier it's going to be when I actually need to use it. Trying to stay ahead of the next unknown obstacle that lies in the horizon of our country's future. In Fort Hood, Casey James, KXAN News.